If you are following along, you'll know that we are back in Washington and having an amazing time making new friends and riding some epic trails. After checking out Tokol and the Seattle area, we could not be more stoked to be here as those shows were insanely fun and lonely. We continue our journey in the PNW with a quick pit stop at a really awesome bike shop that came highly recommended to us, Cascade Bicycle Studio. Hi, my name is Andrew Jorgensen. I'm the owner of Cascade Bicycle Studio here in Fremont in Seattle. And we're a, we specialize in custom bikes, uh, do a lot with Ibis, Seven, Mosaic, um, and Specialized. And we are normally a full service and fitting shop. And why do you love the PNW? Oh man, it's amazing here. You got the mountains, you got the water, you've got plenty of hiking, plenty of riding, plenty of sailing if you're into that. Um, skiing, snowboarding, any basically any outdoor activity that you can imagine, you can do it within 30 minutes of your home. And how can people find you guys? Uh, they can check us out on our website or our Instagram, Cascade Bicycle Studio. Washington has been one of our favorite states to ride bikes in, and one area in particular that is so high on our list is Bellingham. If you love fresh coffee, you can check out our favorite coffee shop, Woods, where you can also see the roasting process. And if tamales are more your style, some of the best tamales you'll ever find are just a little bit north of here. But we are here for mountain bike trails, so we take a scenic drive to a Bellingham classic in the Chuck Nuts. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you guys can hear me with the wind. It is freezing right now. Uh, we are actually in the Chuckanuts. Uh, it's a little bit outside of Bellingham or maybe it's in Bellingham. I gotta check the map, but yeah. Uh, this place is called the Chuckanuts. We're at the bottom. We're gonna climb to the top to ride some really epic downhill trails. Uh, I believe they're called Double Down Double Black or something like that. Links in description to the trail name. I can't do it today, Mo. I'm sorry. No. It's just gonna be you. <laughs> It's so cold. I'm gonna cry. Please close the door. Can I get a shuttle up? No, it'll be better if you climb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it does look like I will be climbing up on my own, but that's okay because I have my best friend or my other best friend. Hannah's my best friend. Uh, I got the Ibis Ripley here. And man, I really have been loving this bike this season. I know you guys have been seeing a lot of this thing and uh, yeah, I've definitely put it through the ringer. Also, if anyone is gonna ride here, make sure you guys get a Discover Pass. The ticket, if you don't have one, is like $100. So yeah, it's definitely worthwhile. I believe we bought our year pass for $35. Even though we're not gonna be here for the year, I know, $35, not that much for a yearly pass. I know the California State Beaches, I think that pass is like $200 for the year. Uh, so yeah, $235, one's a little bit more reasonable than the other. We have been climbing for a decent amount of time. The fire road from that parking lot is actually not that bad. So if you do come up here and you don't have a shuttle, uh, I really kind of prefer pedaling it. You warm up a little bit before the top and yeah, I don't know. We did make it to the top and this is one of the reasons why it's probably my favorite climb. That view is incredible. Oh man. We did make it to the beginning of, oh, sorry, it's a little distracting with the blaring hip hop music in my ear. All right, so we did make it to the beginning of the trail. A lot of people are probably also wondering uh, why I prefer this over Galbraith or if I prefer, I don't know, I think both are really fun in their own ways. I really do like Galbraith. I feel like there's a lot of place to progress, a lot of jump lines. This, I feel like, just feel like an extended prolonged downhill style track, although it's not too gnarly. So yeah, I don't know. I like the length of this. I like the terrain and yeah, both are really fun, but we're gonna ride this one today. So. Let's check it out. All right, so the only problem is it's freezing up here and I can't feel my fingers. I think we're gonna have to work on that whole cold weather glove situation. Oh yeah. So good. Oh, down treat. Let's go ahead and move that over. Oh my God, so cold. Oi, oi, oi. Ah. So the only kind of scary thing about riding places, a ton of trees and storms, you never know when you're gonna run into a down tree. Kind of my worst fear. Okay. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> oh, I think a huge windstorm came through here. As you guys can tell. Ooh. 
sharp right-hander over here. So good. Ah. So, one tip I have, <laughs> if it is wet, I have learned this from experience. You see roots, try to take them as straight as you can. Or else those things are super slippery, like right here. Oh my God. Kind of feels like you're also in the middle of a Jurassic Park movie <laughs> with all the ferns. Ah, so good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, sharp. <laughs> Don't clip a tree today, Mo. God, I've clipped the tree a few times over the years. Those are very painful to hit. <laughs> I'm sure some people probably have horror stories too. I think we have like a little step down right here. Yep. Oh, hold on to the bars now. Oh, I can't feel my fingers, so I can't tell if I'm breaking or not. That's the only scary part. All right. Oh, you guys saw those roots almost take me out right there. This is definitely, ah, I always make this mistake. The trail goes right. Yeah, but winter is definitely here <laughs> in Bellingham. Oh, I will say though, the dirt really is all time. I was talking to some other riders who said it doesn't get much better than this. And that is awesome. Okay, what's here? Oh man, the Ripley's handling it really well. I have gotten a lot of questions on if I miss the Ripmo. And I'm not sure when our Ripley Ripmo video comparison is coming out, but 120 mil 29er, I want to say is the sweet spot for a majority of trail networks out there. The one thing about constantly traveling, you're always riding blind. So it's tough to get in a good rhythm on a trail. Oh man. Okay. Nice. Oi, oi, oi. Don't die. Don't die. My death, I've always said, is gonna be roots. <laughs> That's probably what they're gonna write on the tombstone. <sighs> Something root related. Oh, wow. Sharp right-hander. Oh. <sighs> Hopefully I'm going the right way. Oh, wow, this looks really slick. Right through here. Nice. We are still alive, which I think that's just a pep talk for me. <laughs> Does anyone ever do that? Try to check in with themselves every now and then. Make sure they're still doing okay. While they're riding a trail. Oh, okay. Do not fall off the trail. We're trying our best not to. Nice. Oh, we got some people. How's it going, you guys? Have a good one. Oh, what is going on here? I completely forgot what the line is. Hopefully, I got it right, or else I'm dead. Oh, okay. We got it somewhat right. The sun is just coming straight into my eyes. I definitely picked the wrong lenses, but the show must go on and the show is lonely. That was corny, sorry guys. Oh, nice corner coming through here. Oh, so good. Oh, what was here? I don't remember. I think, oh, is that a huff? Oh, yep. <laughs> Man, I really wish I was following some people who knew the trail right now. Oh, man. Oh, so good. Ah, the locals here have been telling me that the Maxis Asagai and the Schwabi uh, Magic Mary, apparently Purple Edition work well. I didn't know they had Purple Edition. What is this? Oh my God. Oh. Okay, apparently we're doing this. <laughs> I completely forgot about this section. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what is coming up? No idea. Wait. Sick. Oi, oi, oi. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's always fun when you don't know what is coming up. I don't believe it. I, there is no chance I would make it here year round. Okay. Right down here. You got a couple more corners. Nice hip. Ah, even these leaves. 
Ah, oh, it's... Bit, oh, this is the trickiest section for me. <laughs> yeah, I was saying the leaves just kind of get so sketchy. You're just never sure what's underneath them if you're going to slip. So, shout out to all the locals here. I just know how to run this track. Oh, man. Oh, so good. That had to have been one of my favorite sections. This trail just has this insane flow that you don't really get with anything else. And like I said, that is why it's on my top list. A couple more corners over here. We're gonna try and stay on two wheels though. We've made it this far. Oh. Almost there. Through the leaves. Ah, oh, so scenic. Ah. Got a couple more good corners through here, through the roots. So far the roots, I'm not gonna jinx it, but have not been that bad. Boy, as the end is in sight. Oh man. So good. There you go. And that is double black to double down. Woo. The trails did not disappoint, but unfortunately it looks like winter has come and it's time for us to hit the road to warmer temps. More adventures to come. Until next time you guys, ride awesome. Woo.